Hi there and welcome. This is Nelly Deutsch and today I'm going to take you on a tour of um, a few things. First of all, we'll start off with ChatGPT 5.2, which is the latest, I presume, for now. And then I'll show you what my platform looks like. Notice here on the left, uh, new chat, uh, search chats that I've already done library and then notice what's here these are some of the gpts that i have some i use and some i also created so uh, integrating technology blended learning guide mindfulness awareness all the way down to ai for elt these are all mine i think they're about 15 maybe 16. and then notice what else is here i can also label some of them one of them is wellness diet so that i can always go back and continue using it also i can create group chats notice i've got two right now going to go into the second one called moodle for admin with ai Notice this is it. Uh, there is my photo. There is the name. Notice I can add people. I can manage group link. I can rename the group. Or I can customize with ChatGPT and all the rest is there. Now I'm going to take you to a course. Well, it's not really a course. It's a sandbox Moodle for admin site called NEP or NEP for short, uh, which used to be Nelly's English project. Uh, which is now gone since it was uh, created in 2003 and it looked terrible. So I turned it into a uh, Moodle training for admins and you can see what's here. I'm logged in right now. So um, I'm going to log out in a second. Before I do, I want to take you to admin course offer, which is down here. And notice what I get here. I get a pop-up, go to course. Now I can get rid of that. And then I'm in by default as a guest so I can roam through it. And if there are any courses with guest access, I can go into them. And this I added with the help of ChatGPT. So if you're interested, let me know. And maybe we can get a group so we can discuss it. So for now, let me click on the X and it closes and now it'll appear at the bottom, but I am in right now as a guest. And if there, as I said, any guest courses, I can go into them. And I think there are a few here that you can see by some of the participants uh, of the admin course. And let me take you to the admin course. When you're in the course, you can click on chat GPT group and you'll get this pop up. Let's communicate in the chat GPT group chat. And I also added this as a pop up to this course. Now I've been adding a lot of pop ups to my Moodle courses and I find them very, very useful. My students do too, because this is a way of popping things up for them, but I don't want to disturb them. So I don't want it to pop up every time. So once they click on the X, it disappears. And then there's something at the bottom. Let me take you to a course, not going to log in, I'm going to take you to a course that is a free course. There are actually quite a few of them. Most of them are free and are open for guests. So you can view the course or some parts of the course as a guest. But if you want to do any of the activities, of course, you need to log. And the point here is that I'm using AI such as ChatGPT and Gemini to create these pop-ups. Really, really easy. So let me go into this course, AI for ELT, which is coming up. Now notice it says here, log in to enroll. But let's say I don't want to log in. I want to take a look first before I do any logging in, creating accounts or enrolling. Even though I can unenroll which is super easy as well. So let me just go into, I'm just browsing for now. And then notice at the bottom, I still get this login to enroll so that I don't lose everything. If I do decide to enroll, it's right here at the bottom. And notice here on the left, I can take a look at the course and what's here, this orientation, uh, introductions, and I can get whatever is here. Notice I can actually, without even logging in or enrolling in the course, I can join this first meeting, which is available. Notice I can register right now without even logging in. Let me go back to the course and show you something else that's really, really neat by going in as one of the participants 
who has enrolled in the course. So here goes. I'm logging in, which is really easy because all you have to do is hit Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo, or LinkedIn, and it just takes you right in. This is called authentication for those who are interested by services. So I'm logged in. I'm going to go into this course, AI for ELT now. Now notice what it asks for register now for the first Zoom meeting. So I get it here as well, but now I'm enrolled and I also view this in case I'm enrolled and I forget, all right? And um, once I hit the X, notice there's a pop-up here, register for Zoom and it takes me back here and go into the Zoom, notice form here and fill it in okay with my information i can also notice it's america toronto for my time but if you've got other time zones you click on that and then you hit this to get yours if i'm in hawaii of course it'll be a different time it won't be well it will be 6 a.m okay so that's hawaii so whatever time zone you will be able to see yours this is super important many people don't realize it but it's an amazing feature by zoom Right, so now it's 11 a.m. and notice the difference in Hawaii. So let's go back to where we started. We started, notice here, on NEP. And then we went into this site. And then we went into a course called Admin for Moodle, where you learn all these amazing things on how to be the admin of Moodle. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, of course, ask in the comment box below and subscribe to my channel or join as a member and get even more perks. Bye for now.